Hello guys and welcome back. In our last video, we saw how we could download Python and Visual Studio Code. Let's go ahead and see how we can install this. So to do that, let's go ahead and just click on this arrow and say show in folder. And this is actually going to show us our download folder. Now that we're in our download folder, let's go ahead and we can even maximize this by going to view and say large icons. So we can actually see this. So the first one we are going to do is to uh, install Python. I already have Python and Visual Studio Code installed. But let me just go ahead and show you how we can do this. Now let's right click and you can click run as administrator and then you follow the set of prompts and instructions that come up. So do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? I'm going to click yes because I want it to allow uh, Python to change that. So here is going to ask me if I want to modify, repair or uninstall. So that's how you can uninstall or fix Python in case it has a problem. If I click on modify, it means I'm trying to like change what I have already set up. For yours, it's going to be different, but we can just click next and uh, let's click here and say add Python to environment variables and say download debug binaries required Visual Studio 2017 or higher. So if we actually do this and click install, this is going to modify my already existing Python file. So if you're starting up, you can just install this, follow the prompts, click next, and you should be good to go. Now, after you've, you've, uh, you've successfully installed Python, you should actually see a prompt that tells you what you've installed is successful. Let's go ahead and click uh, close. If you want to know whether that was good, if you click on your start, you could just type the word IDLE and you should actually see Python idle, idle Python with the version of Python you installed. Idle is an integrated development and learning environment. We will not be using Idle in this course, but in case you don't want to use Visual Studio Code, you could actually use Idle to write your Python scripts. Let's go ahead and see how we can set up Visual Studio Code as well. So here, I'm going to right click and say run as an administrator. Now it's important to run as an administrator because you want to give the program read and write access. So basically it can write to your local drive and then install this program in your drive. So uh, here it says uh, this user installer is not meant to be run as administrator. If you'd like to ins install VS Code in this system, download the system installer instead. Are you sure you want to continue? We can actually say yes. And we can actually say we accept the agreement. And let's just go ahead and click next. And we can say add path. And it's very important to click on the add path right here. I'm going to click next. And once I click install, this is going to install. Now I already have Visual Studio Code installed on my system. So I'm just going to cancel that. But in case you don't have this, you can actually uh, click install. And when you're, when, when you're done, you restart your system. So to also find out if uh, Visual Studio Code is installed on your system, just press the Windows key and then type Visual Studio Code. And here you can find Visual Studio Code. So that's how you can install Visual Studio Code and we can install Python as well. We need Python installed on our local system so that Visual Studio Code can communicate with Python. Visual Studio Code is what we call an IDE, which is an integrated development environment. There are loads, there are lots of IDEs. Let me just go ahead and open Chrome. And if I search for, and uh, let's say we just search for IDE, right? So let's uh, right click on that. You can actually see a lot of IDEs right here. If we uh, click on the wiki page, you can see there are a lot of IDEs like Atom, just like that. We have Sublime Text, which actually see those different kinds of uh, IDEs we can use. But here we're just going to be using Visual Studio Code for our program. So in our next lesson, I'm going to set up an open Visual Studio Code and we'll write our first basic Python program. See you in the next lesson.